views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB-TV. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to Corey Taylor Talks, live from Las Vegas, the number one teen talk show. And even though this is a teen talk show, I have plenty of listeners who are well out of their teens, and this is for them. This, is, this show is for everyone 21 and over. Um, no one under 21, please, if, this, if you're under 21, tune away now. There's plenty of other shows for you to go down and watch, and then you can wait for when you're 21, and then you can watch this show, because we got a lot of awesome things to talk about today. But for everyone who is 21 and over and who is sticking around, hello. Uh, I am very excited, because now I am officially 21, and um, we got an incredible show for you today. Um, so many cool uh, things. Um, we have Rescue Brewing Company, which is just an incredible beer company that they even actually went to my 21st birthday and everyone loved them. Um, we all drank their beer. It was great. It was so much fun. Um, they were awesome. They were such good people as well. And what's even cooler about them is that they help dogs. Um, and dogs are like the most important things in the world to everyone that has a heart. <laughs> um, so that is so cool that not only do they make delicious and i'm telling you like truly the best beer ever delicious delicious beer but they also give back to dogs which are just the best and they're so innocent and great and uh, i think it's awesome that they give back to them and also another incredible company that after we will be having um nectar of the dogs they also are this awesome wine company and i gotta tell you guys i am not a big wine person but oh my goodness their wines are delicious and um, I fell in love with them uh, both Rescue Brewing Company and Nectar of the Dogs we saw at Celebrity Connected Gifting Suites and uh, I, I mean truly all the celebrities there were just all over them they loved them they had the most delicious uh, beer and then also the best wine and that was like the only time I've ever tried wine and I actually liked it um, so we're gonna have them on they're gonna be talking about their companies how they give back to charities how they give back to dogs um, so lots of dogs and alcohol. How can you go wine? Uh, how can you go wine? How can you how can you go bad? So we got um, dogs and alcohol, and it's going to be a great show. And I also want to talk about it a little bit as well in the beginning of our show. Um, like I said, uh, I met these people through the Celebrity Connected Gifting Suite, and I also met this wonderful lady through the Celebrity Connected Gifting Suite, and she is so talented. As you can see, I have this gorgeous glass here. It's the Oscars, because we met at the Oscars gifting suite. And um, she is just so talented. She makes the most beautiful glasses. Her name is Cindy Wade from CindyWade.com. Um, now, she doesn't only do glasses. She does tons of custom creations. But I just think her glasses are so cool. She also does personalized ones. So if you want to get one that looks like yourselves or even gives it as a gift and uh, give her pictures of um, of your friends or even your dogs. She can make your dogs as well. In fact, a lot of people were giving her pictures of their dogs and she was making them glasses. So you can go to cindywade.com and check her out there. Um, and you can even ask her for this awesome Oscar gas. And then when the next Oscars come around, you can be looking cool at your party and have your very own custom glass or whatever you want because um, she does so many things um, and she's so talented. Once again, that is cindywade.com and that's C-Y-N-D-I-E wade.com. So thank you guys so much and we will be right back. <laughs> She's walking the red carpet or doing interviews. You'll find her with celebrities and all the latest news. She's here, she's there, she's everywhere, she's always on the go. So sit back, relax, and get ready. This is the Corey Taylor Talks Show. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Corey Taylor Talks live from Las Vegas, the number one teen talk show. And once again, like I said earlier on in the show, if you are watching this right now and you are under the age of 21, please stop watching. Plenty of other shows to watch. Uh, this is all for our 21 and over viewers. And uh, when you do turn 21, come on back. But right now, uh, just leave and watch something else. <laughs> so, um, yeah. but let's get right into it. I have Nikki with me from Rescue Brewing Company. Um, it is just 
an amazing, amazing company. They are actually my very first beer I have ever tried. Um, and I, luckily they are because I actually really liked it. And it was delicious. And I'm so happy uh, that I had them on my show today. They're just incredible. And uh, let's get right into it. So hi, Nikki. How are you? Hi, I'm well. How are you doing? I am doing great. It's so good to talk to you again. <laughs> Same here. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, you your whole company is just phenomenal, and uh, you're doing such great stuff and also making great beer on top of it. So, uh, why don't you well, explain to people a little bit about Rescue Brewing Company and how you actually started it? Okay. Well, um, we started out, my husband, was, Neil, was um, home brewing for years, and this was his plan to always open up his own brewery. Um I decided, hey, let's do it, and um, we decided to open up, and we chose to take my passion and his passion and put it together, so um, we help out first responders and um, animal rescues, so we do a lot, which are my passion, um, and then, of course, his is making the beer, <laughs> <laughs> really good beer. Yes. No, it's delicious. So that's, <laughs> that's kind of how we got started in, uh, you know, deciding to open up our brewery and what we do. Yeah, and uh, like I said, you guys, I, and I just, I can't say this enough, um, for you guys to be my first beer and everything, I was so excited to have you. You guys came out to my 21st birthday, and everyone there loved you guys. Like, everyone was obsessed with it. Everyone was trying it. Everyone's like, this is the best beer. I mean, it was so cool, and I was so happy you guys were able to come out, and uh, it was, it, you made my 21st birthday 10,000 Well, we times had a better. great time <laughs> doing it. Well, well, we really were. I was so lucky to have you, and uh, it was it was so good. And um, I was happy that you guys were able to do it too, because um, I I have a little dog myself. His name's Dwight. He's my life, and uh, I think it's so cool that you guys actually give back and help out um, dogs, which are so important to so many people. And uh, there's their family members, so I think it's amazing that you guys are helping out. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, and yeah, that's that's uh, my number one mission on uh, everything that we do because there's so many animals out there that need homes and that are left, you know, to fend for themselves and yeah. don't get the medical care they need, and we try to do everything we can to help out all of the rescues and shelters that we can. Oh, and I, I think that's so cool, and uh, it is. It's, it's horrifying to think of all these uh, homeless dogs or... Um, dogs that have no families um, that are just left or they used to have families and who knows what happened um, but for you guys to take beer which people love and uh, is a staple and uh, everyone loves it but and then to also give back to charity and dogs um, which are so important everyone loves I think it's just such a unique combination that you guys thought of there and it made it perfect and and um, truly if you go and anywhere and you search up all your reviews and everything people just love you guys and um well, everyone thank thinks it's great and it's true it is thank you we uh we do our best <laughs> <laughs> well you succeed very much and uh let's talk a little bit about your brewery too because um i we actually went down there um a few uh, about a month ago i would say and um, you guys were closed that day, and I was so upset because we were going to go down there. We were in California, um, oh, but no. it was a beautiful place. We weren't able to go in, but we were able to see it from the outside, and it was beautiful. So we're, um, talk a little bit about your place and, uh, sure. and how it actually operates. So we're located in the um, historic downtown um, of Upland um, on 2nd Avenue at 167 North 2nd Avenue. Um, we have a, it's almost a 5,000 square foot location. We have a huge tap room. Um, we do events here. We are closed um, Monday and Tuesdays. We are um, in April going to be opening up on Tuesdays now. Um, oh, well, that's so only we'll when it's Tuesday. From, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll be open from Tuesday to Sundays now. Awesome. So, um, <laughs> you know, uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, we're open from noon to uh, 10 and then on Fridays and Saturdays from noon until midnight um, we have bands every Friday uh, we have trivia on Wednesdays oh, wow. we have pet adoptions usually every other month um, the last Sunday of the month um, so we try to do a lot of activities at our location which makes it a lot of fun um, yeah. we have games here 
Uh, we do a lot of fundraising. Um, so, you know, we, we try to involve the community as much as we can with anything or get involved with our community um, when they have, you know, uh, 10 runs or 5K runs and stuff like that. Um, if there's a fallen officer, we'll um, set up a, a fundraiser for um, the officer's family. Um, there's a lot of things that we do here. We help out our uh, Pop Warners. Um, so we, we really try to give back to the community, and um, we're hoping to expand in the future and help out each of the towns where we expand to doing the same thing as well. Wow. And um, I have to say, too, until you just mentioned it, I didn't even know you did first responders as well. That's such a cool thing that uh, you also incorporate that. I, we love our, uh, our first responders here at Corey Taylor Talks. So I think that's amazing that you guys give back to them as well. Well, thank you. Yeah, we... we find it very important to give them the recognition that they deserve um, as far as, you know, putting their lives on the line every day and, um, you know, making our lives safe. So, um, you know, we, we really appreciate everybody and we try to, like I said, give back and show appreciation to them as much as we can. Oh, and uh, you absolutely do. And I think people appreciate that. And um, like I said, too, not only uh, do you do such good for the community, um, but you make the delicious beers. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about <laughs> Thank them. Thank you. Yeah, and they're yeah, we really, phenomenal. Yes. <laughs> we really try to give a variety as well. You know, we have about um, 20 beers on tap right now. And, you know, it's anything from your light uh, lagers to your heavy, um, dark, multi roasty beers. You know, so it. it we try to give a range for a, a little bit of something for everybody. <laughs> yeah, and now why don't we, I, I was going to ask, why don't you tell people, because um, you have so many different flavors and types, why don't you tell people, um, I, I honestly, I don't even know if you could name all of them because there's so much, but why don't oh, you gosh. tell people uh, <laughs> the different flavors you have? Yeah, we have eat. quite a few. Um, our top sellers are Coconut Milk IPA. Um, that's our signature beer, um, we actually are getting into distributing that out as well. Um, one of our other ones is um, our Jerry's uh, Irish Red. So um, that one's one of the favorites, too. We uh, have our Mastiff, which is our, um, oh, Jesus. Sorry, my brain's like... No, you're fine. Blanking <laughs> out right now. I'm putting you on the spot. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, it's our dark uh, um, porter, uh, not our porter, sorry, our stout, please. My brain's not working. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, that's our stout that we have that's always on tap. So we have, a, like I said, a lot of, of variety. We have about um, six different IPAs. Um, you know, we have fruity beers. We have light beers. Um, our um, pills, our Kolsch is our lightest beer. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's your basic uh, beer that, I think anybody can enjoy, especially on a hot day. Yeah. Um, so we have a huge variety of beers that uh, we've, you know, been able to find something for somebody, everybody's palate, you know. Yeah. So. No, yeah, and we it, have it, plenty of beer, and it's all good. <laughs> yes, it's all great. <laughs> yes. Yes. And um, I, I, I follow you guys on Instagram and everything as well. And um, and like you said, you uh, host so many events there and stuff. And it just seems like a great hangout place. And I think um, I think that's so needed for anywhere as you just need a cool hangout place too. And uh, what a perfect place to do it. Not drink beer and help dogs. <laughs> yes. And we are dog pet friendly. So oh. you can bring your dogs and drink your beer here with your with your pooch next to you. <laughs> well, then there you go. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> yes. Yes. That so is... we'd really try to give the home away from home feel, you know? Yeah. I, I think that just uh, the whole place is such a great idea. And um, I, yeah, I, I mean, really, it's just a phenomenal place. And I, we have to go out there, uh, not on a, well, eventually either on a Tuesday, but not a Monday. <laughs> we'll actually have to go down <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, not a Monday. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we are also working on getting food, so we'll eventually have food here as well. Right now, um, you can bring in food, or we have a few restaurants you can order from um, that are right up the street. But um, we will have our own kitchen here that we're in the process of building as well. Oh, how cool. And um, do people, like, host parties there and stuff, too? I'm sure that's a great Oh, place. yeah, we have. We've had bachelorette, bachelor parties. We've had birthday parties. We've had um, anniversaries. 
We oh yeah. <laughs> we we do company um, events as well. We've had you know up to fifty people for a company event as oh, well. Wow. So yeah, we can we can host anything. Yeah, and it's such it's, it's such a cool unique thing too because it's a brewery. So I mean, uh, what a great place! I now you just need to get a wedding in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, so so right now um, you're not serving food, but there's plenty of places to order and everything. When are you planning on uh, getting your kitchen open? Because we're think hoping be... by our second anniversary this August that we'll oh, have it cool. open. Um, that's so what soon. we're shooting for. So this summer um, of 2019, we're hoping to have it open. Yeah, I think that would be bring a whole new level to it. I think that'd be very cool. Yes, and once we do that, we are then legally allowed to have wine as well. So um, for the non-beer drinkers, we'll eventually have something um, for them. Right now we have sodas, but um, we will have some uh, wines and we'll be able to have some ciders as well. So that'll bring um, a variety of even more (laughs) to our customers. So yeah, we're trying to cover all our bases with everybody no definitely i and uh and i also want to bring up to uh celebrity connect is actually how we met and um i the fact that uh you guys were actually there and invited there um it's not anyone could just go and bring their company there um it's very exclusive so um and like i said so many celebrities tried your beer and um they thought it was delicious and so many people were excited that you were there um i I think that was awesome uh that you were actually invited to go there and uh, so many people enjoyed it and really i hope supported it as well because it's such a great idea yes and we were it was it was great for us um it was a pleasure meeting everybody there and yes um it really opened us up to a whole new community of people, you know, hearing about us and what we do. And yeah, we got a lot of great feedback from that event. No, definitely. And, uh, and like I said, um, you guys made my 21st birthday just amazing. Um, everyone was so excited you were there and, uh, it was delicious. And, uh, I, I was afraid I wouldn't be a beer person or anything, but, uh, you guys just, it was so delicious that I loved it. Well, thank you. And like I said, it, we we had a great time as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was so cool. And uh, and do you guys think you're ever um, going to expand more? Um, are you planning on maybe even opening other uh, breweries or anything? Or are you... Yes, yes. We will be expanding. Um, we've even talked about um, up in Nevada. So, uh, yeah, eventually we will be having um, all different locations all over. Um, like I said, you know, it just has to... Um, fit with our, you know, mission and what we're doing and um, find the, you know, the right location for it. Um, And that way, yeah, we're hoping to spread our our beers around everywhere. (laughs) Yeah, well, I'm sure you'll be very successful. And um, I think Vegas would be a great place to do it, too. Absolutely. I think so many people would support you out here. Thank you. Yeah, well, well. Hopefully you'll hear about us there. (laughs) I hope so. If you ever need help with anything, too, please reach out to us. (laughs) I will. I will. Thank you very much for that. Yes, and I also want to talk about, um, in case you're not in Upland or you can't make it there, and uh, until you guys do actually open more locations, you can order some online, too, correct? Uh, You cannot order beer online. Oh, okay. No. Um, Yeah, we have not. We don't bottle our beer. Um, we only distribute right now to some, um, basically in the Inland Empire where we're at, um, restaurants and that, um, at, or at our location. We okay. cannot uh, sell online, yeah, gotcha. unfortunately. Well, so unless you catch us at an event, um, a festival or something, um, which we do attend a lot of festivals. Oh, cool. Uh, or you're here in California, you can come by. <laughs> Yes, and people, uh, they could keep up to date with your social media, correct? Yes, yes. yes. We are on Facebook and Instagram. Um, you could uh, find us there um, under Rescue Brewing Co. Uh, on either one. And and you'll find out all the festivals we may be at uh, or what's going on at our location. And then we have our website, um, which is the www.rescuebrewingco.com. 
um, and that way you can find out about us as well. We've got a calendar on there, and we show pictures and, you know, different things from different events that we, um, we attend. No, that's great. I think uh, so many people are going to look out and for it, and they're going to be so excited uh, that you're going to be going to all these different festivals. And I know I will be, and I'm sure plenty of other people will be searching and hoping that you will be opening a brewery near them because I'm sure so many people are excited about it. And anyone who's tried any of your beers, I'm sure they're just ecstatic about it. And on top of it, not only are you delicious, but you're also helping the dogs as well. So how can you get any yeah. better? <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, so thank you so much, Nikki, for being on. Uh, once again, you are just phenomenal, and your company is great, and I wish you all the success, which you already are very much. So. Oh, thank you very much, and I appreciate you having us. Oh, of course, and thank you so much, and uh, we will talk to you soon for sure. Okay, sounds good. All right, Look forward so much, to it. Nikki. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. And that was Nikki with Rescue Brewing Company. Uh, what a great place. They're doing phenomenal things. And like I said, we got a very exciting show still coming up uh, with us. So stick around. We're going to be talking to Nectar of the Dogs, who is a great, great, great wine company. And like I said in the beginning of the show, too, I'm not a wine person. I really don't like it. And then I tried theirs at the Oscars gifting suite and it was delicious and that was the only time I've ever tried it that I actually really really liked it so they made me actually very happy and now I'm thinking a little more into it so uh, they're the only ones I really liked and I, they're an amazing place that's also helping dogs which like I said how can you get any better so stick around and we will be having them on in a minute. Hi, this is Hal Bray and Sergeant Tim Sutton with Heroes for Autism. Did you know that over half of 25-year-olds with autism stopped receiving health care after they left their pediatrician? And almost half of those 25-year-olds with autism have never held a paying job. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Corey Taylor Talks live from Las Vegas, the number one teen talk show. And once again, I'm going to say it for the final time. If you are under 21, please stop listening right now. This is not the show for you. When you turn 21, this is the perfect show for you. But right now, click off. And uh, for all our 21 and over guests, welcome. I think that's actually the majority of my audience now. Um, but we have Nectar of the Dogs, which uh, actually, which our producer was saying earlier, it's such a cool play on words. And uh, you guys are just a phenomenal, phenomenal company. And you're doing Thank some you. great things as well. Thank so you. Why don't we uh, get right into it? Why don't you explain to people exactly what it is and what you do? All right. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Oh, my it's, goodness. It's awesome course. to be here. <laughs> um, yeah. We are Nectar of the Dogs Wine. Right yes. Uh, our company is about three years old, and we started it really inspired by the love of our dogs. I'm yes. going to pull this one over here, too. All the dogs on the label were our dogs who have since passed on to the Rainbow oh. Bridge. Um, Connie, Clyde, Mika were my dogs, and then my wine partner, Donna, those are her dogs, the How Spaniels. Oh, cool. Oh, my goodness. So uh, we wanted to bottle some wine, and we wanted to be able to give back. Uh, so we bottled some wine, and we gave back. We did a limited edition uh, Chardonnay for our first you know ton of wine I guess you would say right. and that sold so well and then people were like well what's next where's the red so so we started the company uh in 2016 oh. and we're about to release our 10th varietal in, oh my in goodness. April so I have a few here um that you're looking at this is our latest one here this is three dogs white blend and I think this is the one that you tried yes, this is the one that actually made me like wine <laughs> which is saying so much that's what you were saying so yeah this one um it's a blend uh production Normally V and A with a little yeah. bit of Gewurztraminer and a teeny tiny little bit of late harvest Muscat Canali, yeah. but it's not sweet. Um, this one here is our Rosé of Malbec, which we bottled last summer. Again, a really big seller. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like I said, we're just we're a company that believes in producing easy drinking, really great quality wine, yes. uh, and we give about 10% of our sales back to different dog rescue organizations. That's great. And uh, I have to say, too, you helped so many different organizations, too. I think that's awesome that it's not just, like, 
one particular right. so many different kinds and um and the bottles are so cool i didn't even know the story that that was your animal that, yeah. that's amazing it's just you know it's yeah it's from the heart if you go yeah. to our website uh, nectar of the dogs wine.com you can read all about it all about uh, the dogs and who they were uh, our current dogs because we still do have a few yes they're not on the label yet they don't get to the label until they pass the rainbow oh, bridge, hopefully not so for a very hopefully long, not for time. long time yeah um, but you can also see some of the organizations that we've donated to yeah. our original goal was that we wanted to try to for every varietal that we created uh, pick a different charity organization it hasn't really um, quite worked out that way but right. what we do now because we are uh, we're a virtual winery so that means that mm -hmm. we don't have a tasting room. We don't own a vineyard. Right. We're working with small producing wineries in the Central Coast and the um, Central Valley of, of California. Okay. So we personally taste everything that we bottle. We're you know creating our own blends and whatnot. Uh, but the only way you can buy our wine is through our online store mm -hmm. or by doing private events with us. Um, so that's really you know what we're doing. So as I was saying, we wanted to be able to create each varietal to go to a specific organization. But what we're doing now is every time we do release a varietal, I'll reach out to a different organization, uh, such as All American Docks and Rescue. Um, mm -hmm. Recently, we just did Hollywood Huskies for this. Okay. Uh, we partnered with the SPCALA, Guide Dogs of America, several. <laughs> but um, yeah, for the bigger releases, we'll, we'll partner with them. They'll come out. We'll kind of have... Um, you know, tap into their database so we can spread the word. Yeah. And then at our tasting event, we will present them with a check for a minimum of $1,000. Wow. And then we do uh, raffles and, and kind of fundraising there. So that's really kind of the model that we're working with now. Yeah. Uh, until we can just get more brand awareness out there and hopefully, you know, get some points of distribution yes. and um, eventually a tasting room one day. No, I think that's great. And uh, what a cool idea. And like I said, uh, I, I, I tried wine one time or a couple times and I was like, you know, it's just not for me, which really right. sucked because all my friends love wine. And I was like, oh, it's just not my thing. Right. But then I tried this and I was like, ah, oh, I, I can wine. finally, I can finally be like, okay, let's do a wine night. It's awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wine is, I think sometimes, um, you know, here's another one that I'll reach over here and grab. Yeah. So this is our Chardonnay. This is our second, uh, bottling of Chardonnay. As I said, the first one was, um, very well received. And yeah. then this one was our first blend. This is our CCF McMurphy. So it's 80% Cab, 20% Cab Franc. And oh. this is also the only wine we have right now from Paso Robles. So that's been a big seller for us. Um, yeah. But I think yeah, I've been drinking wine for a long time. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> not at all. Time. You are very young and beautiful and your whole oh. look, like I said earlier. <laughs> I love your whole look. Thank it's you. Great. <laughs> Thank you. If you go check out the website, you'll learn a little bit about myself and Donna, and you'll see that this is really who I am. That's um, great. <laughs> yes, this is who I am. But uh, like I'm saying, you know, Donna and I have been drinking wine for a really long time, and we want to ensure that everything that we do bottle, we like. Yes. <laughs> so, um, and I know it can be intimidating sometimes, right. but it makes us feel really good when we have somebody who doesn't drink a lot of wine yeah. say like, oh my God, I didn't really like wine and yours was amazing. Yeah. That's, um, it's happened a lot too with like our Chardonnay. We get a lot of people who say, I'm not a Chardonnay drinker, I'm a red wine drinker, but we really like your Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't take offense if people don't like a particular varietal because wine is subjective. Right. It's like of art. Course. Uh, but overall, the response has been amazing, and I'm just I'm super thankful that we have the opportunity to come and share, and uh, hopefully just continue to grow. Because at the end of the day, the more that we sell, the more we can give back to dogs in need, and that's yeah. really really what it's all about. Yeah, and uh, I, I, and I think you could tell too. It, it's very much a passion. I mean, from putting your animals. I mean, what a cool way to honor <laughs> them too, and then um, to give back to so many different charities and mm -hmm. to really put your heart and soul into it because. I don't think people really comprehend how much work it is to have a company yeah. and I especially I can't even imagine the license and everything with wine as well. I bet it's just yeah. hell. <laughs> it's um it's been you know, I as I said, I drink a lot of wine, but right. I really didn't know how to get into the wine business. Right. I've been working and um just been very privileged to have some people around me who are kind of helping me, uh and, and Donna, you know, along the way yeah. as we grow and expand. So I'm just thankful, and um, yeah, it's been fun. It is a lot, you know, it's a lot of work. Oh, I is. bet. <laughs> um, we also, I mean, we both have corporate jobs, so yeah. this is our, you know, passion, uh, labor of love project, but um, yeah, I, I just wouldn't 
I wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, it's amazing, and I'm just so excited for this to, to grow and, uh, you know, see where we can take it. Yeah. No, absolutely. And uh, actually, even I, I wanted to say, too, at the Celebrity Connected Gifting Seat, which is where we met and yeah, yeah. where I finally <laughs> fell in love with. I was like, okay, this is it. This is happy. I'm happy. Um, it, so many of the celebrities were so excited about it, and they were like, it's so good. It's we so good. And it's such so a cool busy. cause. Yeah. yeah. We were, um, like I was telling, um, telling your manager there, yeah. we just – well, I, I had to work that by myself because Donna unfortunately couldn't make it. I had um, some people helping me. My husband, Todd, was there and uh, some other friends of mine. But uh, once the doors opened, I, I never left the table. <laughs> it, was, I'm, it was crazy. But I was so thankful. And I did meet a lot of really great people. I think I was telling you that, uh, you know, I've gotten emails and that I'm also going to be participating in another fashion show event at the yeah. end of March for um, Sachika. And we'll be pouring. And everybody just kind of says the same thing. We love the story. We love the brand. Yeah. And then they try the wine, and they, they love the wine. So yeah. I think we have a really, really uh, great product and a great brand, and I'm excited for it to, to, to go to the next level. Yeah, well, then for people to actually reach out to you guys and, and want you at their company and every – I mean, that should tell you so much there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, as I said, you know, you can check us out online, um, nectarofthedogswine.com, <laughs> and all the information is there. We we do love events, and whether it's doing our release party, as I mentioned, and yeah. partnering with the dog organization, or, um, you know, sponsoring events like Sachika, yeah. uh, or just doing private events anywhere that yeah. we can get out there and, um, you know, sell the wine. That's really our goal at the end of the day. So um, we also have a wine club I would like to mention. Oh, You can that's see right cool. there. In addition to buying direct uh, online, you can join our wine club. Oh. It's very exclusive right now. You can get in on the ground floor. <laughs> no, that's um, great. But, yeah, the wine club, uh, it's amazing, you know, and it makes people feel like they're just a part of something. I mean, let's face it. There is a ton of wine in the world. There's so many choices just everywhere. I get that. I understand that. But I think that when you identify with a brand that, mm -hmm. uh, well, number one is for a great cause. Yes. You know it's a good product. Um, you know that they're really doing what they say that they are doing, which we are. Right. Um, it just makes you feel really good to be a part of something. Yes. And, uh, you know, we have some friends and family in, in the wine club, of course. That's how we started with right. the support. <laughs> no, of But course. then um, through events, we actually have had people join the club, and they're still with us. And, and it's amazing. So that's my goal this year is to really try to uh, grow the wine club. Yeah. Of course, always happy to just take the orders from online as well. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's exciting. It's really exciting. I was I was happy to be a part of Celebrity Connected. Yeah. And I didn't get a chance to meet you there. No, but, but <laughs> now we finally can finally, meet. Yes. yes. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, looking forward to seeing where this all goes. Yeah, no, it, it, it's just so phenomenal. And you guys are really incredible. And I think – like you said, I think people can feel good about supporting you guys and, and feel good about drinking. I mean, <laughs> well, yes, You can make true. a good way of doing it. I mean, and um, it's so great. It's delicious. It's phenomenal quality, too. Thank and you. you know what you're getting is, is good. And yeah. It's actually good, authentic. I, how, not, it's just it's an awesome part of wine that gives back, and you can't really get much better than that. You can't get much better than that. And um, – you know, I'm always kind of just thinking of new ideas, like how to market it. Um, I have this idea that if people might want to sponsor uh, having your dog on the label. Oh, that's know, a that really smart be, idea. That's yeah. a smart idea because, I mean, who doesn't want to have their favorite fur angel, yes. you know, memorialized on a bottle? Actually, um, I don't have it, but if um, you look on the website, we used to have, um, actually it's here, we had a cab franc. And it was very, very limited. I think we only did 21 cases of that. Oh, wow. But our graphics person who helped us with our website and actually helps um, design all the labels, his dog unexpectedly passed away. He was Ugh. four years old. So oh, we said, goodness. you know what? We really appreciate everything that you've done. And so his dog, Romeo, is on our Cab Franc label. How cool. Um, and I have had people inquire about that. So, you know, I think that just might be another another opportunity that I would like to extend to that. Yeah. No, I, I think that's a very smart idea. Um, I, I actually think it's so funny. You work with dachshunds a lot and everything. I, I, my very first dog was a dachshund. <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, he was Frankie. He's my baby. He was my life. And uh, he, he lived till he's 12, so he lived a long life and everything. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's always devastating. And I still, I could cry. I think it was years ago, and it's just, it's so sad. But I think what a great way 
to memorialize them and to really honor them and uh, know they're also helping dogs in the yeah. future in turn, really. Yeah. I am definitely the wiener mama um, of yes. the group. So <laughs> dachshunds, I, yes, very partial to them. Uh, yeah, Connie and Clyde lived to be 16 and 17. Oh, my goodness. And then wow. we now have two more, um, Bronny and Vinny, and uh, you know, they're 10 and 12. So hopefully they have a few more years. Yeah. Um, this one um, actually with the new one that's coming out no this is um princess and so donna her dogs are a little older and so she's actually had a couple who have made the label <laughs> which is you know good or bad depending on how you right. look at it um but yeah it's it's just really nice to to see them and i get such pleasure and joy just knowing that you know they had good long lives and yes. we, we did something to give back yeah give back to dogs and I, I think anyone watching, uh, if they want to reach out to you, and really, that's a great thing. And For it's sure. so cute, too. I mean, what a perfect little thing. And Nectar of the Dogs. I mean, how can you get any better? Yeah, when we were sitting around trying to, to come up with a name, right? Um, you know, obviously, you have to. Th there have been other wines out there, you know, who they've kind of done a little bit of what we've done. Um, so we were looking for different names, and we were Googling and whatnot. Yeah. And. I don't remember who actually came up with this. I think it was probably after a few glasses or bottles of wine. <laughs> um, but we, you know, searched it and yeah. we're like, oh, my God, this is amazing. And then I also want to say, too, so um, the dogs on the label, obviously ours, but we have a wonderful uh, artist. Her name is Emma, and she's the one who draws these for the label, but from mm -hmm. actual pictures of the dogs. Mm -hmm. So when you go on the website, you'll see the inspiration f picture of, you know, what on here yeah. and um, she's just amazing so we're really thankful that we have such a personal touch on the labels yes. and um, you know all the descriptions on the back should you take time to read them <laughs> uh, you know I, I, I write all those just after tasting yeah with a lot of friends and family uh, to just kind of get the descriptions and whatnot and so that's the fun part of it yeah um, so yeah no, and I, I really think so many people should support this. And Thank if you. anyone has connections, too, I mean, you, so you want to eventually get it where people can distribute it. And, uh, yeah, correct? we're looking for points of distribution. Um, absolutely. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, like I said, the more we sell, the more we can give back. Um, yeah. So that's, yeah, if anybody's out there and you want to reach out, I'm Melanie at Nectar of the Dogs Wine. It's on the website. All the information is on the website. We'd love to come and pour for you. Um, you know, tell the story, sell some wine to you. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we really want to sell the wine. Yeah. Um, and then I want to say, too, if you become a member of the wine club, I like to try to give back to our wine club members as well. Mm -hmm. So you'll see here a couple of the little glasses and the um, coasters that I created. So, oh, how cute. Yeah, I've made candles and, uh, you know, just yeah. I, I want to – I appreciate. I appreciate all our wine club members and the support that they give us and yeah. they spread the word, and so that's – it's another little benefit, <laughs> perk, bonus of being a great part benefit. Of yeah, part of the wine. In addition to getting great wine. Yes. I, how can you get wrong? How can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? Yeah, it's, it's pretty perfect. pretty simple too. I mean, basically, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I'm also a member of a lot of wine clubs. I don't just Good always drink no, wine. I have to so, do a lot of wine research. Yes. Of, of course, absolutely. We do. Um, so I kind of look to see, you know, what other um, clubs offer. Yes. And um, for us, it's it's pretty simple. I mean, there's no commitment. We just ask the, well, actually, for a case over the course of a year. You can either do month to month or you can do quarterly. And okay. you can do two bottles per shipment, four bottles, or six. Um, you can do all whites, all reds. You can do mix. So there's a lot of flexibility there. And mm -hmm. then, um, you know, when we do have our release events, of course, our wine club members are there and then when we start to look for the next new bridal I like to have private parties where we um, taste and we sample and you know as a as a group sometimes we can kind of figure out what we want to bottle next so how cool yeah. so it's like it's a whole inclusive thing it's yeah. not just oh here's your bottle it's everything it's everything it's everything and that's part of the good thing of being so small at this point because we yeah. still have a very close personal connection to all of our members and to people that I meet and these events yeah. that I'm going to, it's, um, you know, it's good. It's a good feeling. And I'm just thankful that we have had so much support and people really, that's what I keep, keep getting. Yeah. We love your brand. We love the story. And then your wine is awesome. Yeah. No, and it is. And everything's completely true. And I'm sure that's why so many people reach out to you because it's completely true. It's delicious and it's great. And it's helping such an amazing cause. Right. I mean, 
like I said, animals are our families. We love them so much. <laughs> I have true. my corgi now. He is my wife. <laughs> Did you see um, JoJo, the corgi? Yes, uh, so we love cute. JoJo, and we actually try to get a play date a couple times. It hasn't worked yet, but soon we're going to get a play date for them, too. Um, but JoJo, I even saw, was yes. on the table and loving it. <laughs> he was, yeah. No, I was fortunate yeah. enough to meet not only some wonderful um, celebrities and influencers, but the doggy influencers yes, were amazing. Yes, there's a lot of dog influencers. So there, yeah. I've kind of reached out, and I'm trying to organize a doggy influencer wine party. Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah, photo shoot. So That is so smart. Yeah, so that's going to be – I'm working on that in April, so we'll see what happens. But I think JoJo was interested. Um, yeah. The little Pomeranian, I uh, yes. Chewy, I think, and uh, Popeye the foodie, and yeah. So there's if so your many. Corgi yeah. wants to be a part of it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that'd be perfect. <laughs> um, oh, another thing you can do too, actually, uh, yeah. if you go to our website and you send a picture of your dog, we'll put it on there. So you, yeah, we have a page called Your Dogs, and your dog can be on there as well. Oh my! So you not only and I actually love your slogan too. You're not drinking. It's not alone. really drinking alone <laughs> if your dog is with you. Yes. yes. I thought uh, that was so cute. <laughs> and, you know, it's so funny at Celebrity Connected, and I've never had this, right? Because I create, well, I mean, I put that on there. That's our tagline, right? Right. Everybody that came up was like, is this dog wine? And oh. I'm like, no, it's people wine. Right. They thought like, yeah, no, right. Yeah, it's people wine. But still, you're never drinking alone if your dog is with you. So You know, you can even start dog wine too, and then you can sell <laughs> it with a little, a little side bottle You know, the possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, that's just, that's yeah, funny, but it's catchy. I think people do love No, that I think that was a great tagline, and I, I, the second I saw that, I was like, oh, it's really eye-catching and funny, and it's great, right, and it's right. true. It's true. It's very true. <laughs> Makes you, make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> well, after a glass or two or a bottle of this, um, yeah, yes. you definitely feel good. Yes, and even uh, with The Bachelor coming to an end, what a great way to celebrate it with your great wine and cry with everyone. So. You know what? I'm not, I'm not, not, fond, not fond. I don't watch that show. But um, how about I give you a bottle and you can watch it? And then okay. You <laughs> no, I, I really – I just appreciate you guys so much. Thank and you. I think you're such a great company. You're such a good person, too. And I think that really Thank anyone you. watching this can really tell that – um, and you're so passionate about this, and you're giving back. I mean, you can't go wrong with this company. It's really great, Thank and you. I'm so happy you guys are able to come out here. Oh, absolutely. And uh, I hope uh, I hope a lot of people really pay attention to you guys. And, um, of course, distribution, too, I think it would be great. Absolutely, totally. And, again, I want to thank you. It's It's been amazing. Um, go to the website. Check us out. If you have any questions, you can email me. My email is all over the website. Um, you know, a lot of great pictures from the yeah. events that we've just posted. And uh, the wine is awesome. And I'm not just saying that because it's mine. but it No, is. I will say it. I, like I said, not a wine person. Oh, my goodness. This was delicious. So even if you don't think you're a wine person, this will make you a wine person. Trust me. Coming straight from one. Yes. So. And I want to say one last thing, too, actually. So, uh, you know, we are based out of um, Simi Valley, California. Right now, we can only ship anywhere in the state of California and Nevada. Oh, it's the only other state. Wow. We could ship to, well, so. that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> perfect for your audience. Yes. And then hopefully eventually to be yep. wider and wider. We need to get people out there supporting them. I mean, what Absolutely. a great cause. Too, Absolutely. So. Yes. Yes, when people you need to go us, out there. You're drinking for a great cause. That's right. So, so. you need to drink then. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, so, well, thank you so much. Thank you, you were Corey. great. I'm so happy uh, you were able to come out and uh, really delicious stuff. So everyone, please go follow them. If you're in California, Nevada, buy wine on there. Um, keep up to date with them on all their social medias. If you see follow events Follow us on anything. Instagram, Nectar of the Dogs yes. Wine. And uh, join their club, too. Join I mean, club. what a great thing. <laughs> and it's very exclusive, and you're very fancy if you join it. Yes, so. you are. <laughs> and you're giving back. So how can you how can you beat it? So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for everyone that we had on the show today. Um, please go and support everyone. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And remember, never give up. Always believe, and you'll achieve. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you.